Hi, I'm Daniel Mora at Daniel M Beauty on Instagram. Welcome to BTC University. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect high contrast foliage on a level two, which we all know is super hard to do, right? I'm going to be showing you how to avoid any warmth when you're feathering, how to properly choose your toners to perfectly match the undertone of the hair and a lot more. All right, guys. So before I start any color service, especially when they haven't colored the hair for a long time, it's going to be a huge impact, right? So they're so used to having this depth all throughout. If you're going to go lighter, one of the things you have to make sure is how blonde is too blonde, how ashy is too ashy, how warm is too warm. Everyone sees color a little bit different. So you have to have your clients show you photos. Do not go based off of words. Make sure they're showing you what warm means to them and what blonde is to them before you do anything. You want to make sure that you set yourself up for success and not failure. So my model today hasn't had her color done in three years, which it allows us to have a beautiful blank canvas. However, we do have to be a little more um, efficient with the placement because there is nothing to support the placement. You have to be very very purposeful with it so it can flow at the end uh, based on her skin tone i'm gonna stay at a level eight i don't want to do anything that is too contrasty especially because of how dark her natural color is i feel that when it's a little bit softer it'll make the hair look more expensive and it just blends a lot better overall also she's a little more on the olive side so i feel like doing any cool tones on her would be kind of not so good it'll make her uh, features seem a little more dull and flat so for that reason i'm going to stay even if i went to a level nine in certain areas just to create pops i'm still going to make sure that it has a little bit of warmth to it um, instead of being super ashy all right so always start in the back um, if it's a full-on service i feel that since we are rinsing at the shampoo bowl it'll give you enough time and also it'll be more comfortable rinsing and taking out foils in the back um, I'm going to start with the level 10 volume. So I know that she's brunette and you're probably thinking, why are you using 10 volume if she wants to be light? However, anytime you use high volume developers, it actually doesn't mean that she's going to be blonder. It just means that it's going to uh, peak really fast and it's going to plateau. So then it's going to give you more of a yellowy kind of undertone when you're doing your blondes on levels that are darker, the lower your volume, the better. You just have to let them sit. So it's slow and steady instead of like trying to push it super fast. That way you're end up, you're gonna end up with super healthy hair and a super uh, beautiful um, undertone on the blonde. Then I'm gonna start sectioning. So I make it super simple for myself. I don't want to overcomplicate it. So I start my sectioning in four quadrants. So right at the top of the head and right behind the ear. And I'm going to make sure I put that away. So I'm doing the quadrant right behind the ear. If you place your comb flat against the head, that's kind of where it starts to round. So I, that tells me that the weight of the hair is going to split this way and that way. And I want to treat every section um, equally equally, but then differently in every uh, quadrant. Then I'm gonna go straight down from the top to the bottom of the nape right here. Chin down a little bit. There you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so this is what it looks like. Simple. Now, I do want her to have a little bit of a bolder uh, face frame. Not necessarily super chunky because she is brunette. I don't want it to grow out super harsh. One of the things that you have to be super mindful of, especially when you have women with postpartum um, hair loss, is that the length of the hair may not be enough to connect your frame in the front. So anytime girls wear their hair pushed forward, you have to make sure that the back is connected to the front, right? So the money piece 
as we all like to call it, right? The frame, it's not only going to be in the front, it's also going to connect through the interior of the hair. So you have to be very mindful of the length that she has in the interior. I'm assessing my client's hair and I can tell that she has a lot of baby hair. So if I was to do a frame that it's here, there's not enough density in the hair for us to create an impactful piece right here. So then I'm going to start my subsection a little bit higher until I see enough hair at the tips. I feel like her density lives more at zone one and two. The ends are kind of fine. So I'm going to continue to make a little bit thicker until I get enough. So I feel like that would be enough for me. I feel safe and comfortable in knowing that this is going to give me a powerful piece. So instead, again, instead of just going along the hairline, I'm actually looking more at the density of the hair rather than the size of the subsection. All right, guys, so I want to make sure that when she pulls her hair up, it's not going to be any stripiness in the back. Therefore, I'm going to do internal. I call this a deep highlight instead of baby lights. When you do ba baby lights, it's more on the surface of the section, which means that you're going to have a super negative space right here with a tiny bit of positive space um, to support it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down, hold it nicely, not too tight though. And then you're going to make sure that the tail of the comb goes through the whole subsection. So when you peel it, it almost feels like you're teasing at the same time in this little area right here. Now I'm going to tease. So if I need to tease this area, I'm going to go right underneath it, push up a couple of times and start from there. One of the things with brunettes is that in order to minimize the amount of warmth in the hair, you're going to have to stray away from feathering too much. I know we've been told that it creates softer lines and it's a, lot, um, a softer finish. However, on brunettes, it's actually going to expose a lot of warmth that you don't want. I want to use my toners more as a tool to enhance my color and not as a tool to fix my color. And I much rather have a client come back with a grow out and a clean line of demarcation. You're teasing at that point, so it's always gonna blend it anyway, but I'd rather have a client come in and me enhance the color again rather than having a regrowth plus, plus an orange band and then the nice blonde. All right, so now the hair that's left over, I'm going to over direct it. Again, if you need the blend here, there's no need for you to tease all the way from here. So what ends up happening is that if you tease too much, you end up with a little bit of hair. And if you want it to be impactful, it's not going to happen because all your ends went all the way high. So you have to be very mindful not to over tease the hair. Otherwise, you'll end up having more of like a mixed brown color instead of a a piece that's gonna stand out, right? So again, we need the blend right here. So I'm gonna tease a couple times. And the reason why I'm applying at an over direction is because same as a haircut, every time you over direct the hair, when it falls back into its natural fall, it's always a lot softer and it flows a lot better than if you did at zero elevation. If you notice too, I'm not feathering much. I'm not going crazy. I'm just creating my line and I'm ba barely diffusing it. I'm not creating any crazy strokes. I'm staying pretty much within my line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I am using flash lift um, as my bleach. That's my favorite bleach that I use. If she had uh, compromised hair or her base was lighter, then I would use um, flash lift bonder inside because I know it's going to give me the protection that I need. Jeanette. 